which is hell. I got the, that chicken part stuck in my head. <laughs> chicken? Huh? Yeah, like, uh, remember remember when uh, uh, Tommy in the movie is just like, oh, don't be a chicken. Cheep, 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 cheep. And he's like, just, he's just going, cheep, 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 cheep. <laughs> Just play it for him. You've already talked about it too much. I just don't, I, you're, you're, it's just go to, late. just go to my Facebook, you'll find it. it okay. It's too late, you're already doing it to yourself, so you may as well just go through with it and play it. <sighs> I just don't want to play it right now. I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want people to, uh, have to suffer through that. That's a, that's a challenge. <laughs> that's a, it's a real challenge to sit through the movie alone, yet hear a song <laughs> version of it. Like, you haven't even seen the movie yet. No. You need to see the Wait, movie. you've never seen it? No. Just watch it high as fuck. Yeah. Perfect way to watch it. Yeah, or like, do like at least five shots beforehand. One of the two. Or, or turn it into a, some kind of drinking game. Cause That's I'm sure what I said. Oh, oh yeah, there, there's a room of drinking game. I'm sure. I'm sure I could probably find it on Google. I'm almost tempted to. Yeah, Tommy Wiseau is the room. It was supposed to be a huge dramatic thing, but it sunk bigger than the Titanic. Not the movie, the actual thing. None there was enough room on that fucking door. That's a different thing, and that is not a challenge. That is just cruel. But there's other dark things out there. Yeah, I totally. What agree. kind of dark things? Uh, things that. Uh, I, I don't know, Tim. Would you challenge these dark things? Challenge dark things? Ch yeah, um. Challenge accepted! <gasps> Hi, I'm Pat. <laughs> 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 Welcome back to Witch's Hill. I'm Pat, and uh, this is that guy. I'm Tim. And we're here with some lovely faces. Uh, we got Dennis, and we got Lindsay. Good evening. Hello. How you guys doing tonight? Good. Fantastic. Sorry, I keep crushing my can. I'm not trying to, I'm sorry. Stop it. I've so, had too much energy. So what are we talking about today? Dark challenges, because the internet likes to ruin everything. <laughs> Including life. And for like little kids and shit, like little kids can summon demons in so many different ways, apparently. It's just like, they just turned it into it. Like, you know what? Just fuck everybody, especially the innocent. And like, so they just went for kids. Like, here, here's Charlie, Charlie. He's innocent. Talk to him. And about death. You know, if, if he doesn't answer you that way and you, can't, you just can't hear him, you can read it through a Ouija board. I think we didn't we only use that once. What, a Ouija board? Yeah. Yeah, and then what happened at my house, Tim? And, uh, from what I remember, nothing. It's because you didn't have anything happen to you there, because you weren't allowed to stay over. Like, any, any time past eight. No, if, if it was dark. Yeah, most likely, like, past eight. Well, except in wintertime, I was fucked then. <clears throat> no, you ever come through? Home at five! So did things start happening after you used it? Yeah, yeah a lot of weird shit. Like, you, you heard certain things. Uh, you guys always showed me the proof. Yeah, and like we had photos, we had like uh, recordings, like a weird dog lapping up water right next to a, a recorder when we had like our dogs in the back room. I remember the, uh, he has one of those spider lights, it's like a different light hanging over in each way, and it was like, yeah. it was like gold and really shiny, and they took a photo in the living room facing it, and behind the person that took the photo is this dark hallway, and you could see the reflection of that hallway in each individual light, In one of them there's someone standing in the hallway. Like, right next to dude. Oh my god. Only yeah. in one reflection. Oh god. Yeah, I remember that photo so well. It's really weird. Um, I mean, even in the room across the hall where like my, my room uh, was at one point, there is a, uh, there's a closet in there. And I never liked that fucking closet. And it, it, I'm just going to cut the story short because I'll explain it another time, but... The door got ripped off the damn hinges, and the metal is literally twisted. Jesus And I can, I can prove it to anybody. I showed Tim. And like, it, it is literally, like, it ripped and twisted out of the damn thing and had enough force to fall into my actual door to the room and dent it. It ripped down a poster I had. Holy shit. Yeah, I woke up to that. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's Good fucking morning. terrifying. Yeah, I flailed just, oh, God! <laughs> oh, yeah. I would have definitely wet the bed that night. But that, that was, I guess, could be up to debate whether that actually came from a Ouija board incident or whatnot. I mean, we used to fuck around with a lot of different shit. I mean, we grew up on, like, war grounds. I mean, uh, I'm not going to name which one, but, like, 
There's a lot of weird, weird energy that's out there around our uh, little childhood neighborhood. Are there any like? Well, because especially in there's a lot of Indian burial grounds. Mm -hmm. So you know that's always a possibility. You know. Oh yeah. So I mean, who who knows what what it actually was? But all I know is that that shit happened afterwards, and like. Not to say shit didn't happen beforehand, but it definitely fucking spikes around. Yeah. He's not blaming it, but he's blaming it. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, I'm keeping an eye on it and slowly wagging my finger like, I don't know, man. I'm watching you. I'm watching you, man. I don't trust you. So what are some of these uh, dark challenges that you looked up? Well, um, if you're ever feeling alone and feel like going on YouTube and searching up, I'm a friend, but if you don't go and do that, which I suggest you do do, um, you can, I guess, play one man hide and seek. Okay, this is the one that you talked about beforehand, so I was looking it up, and this is like weird. Yeah, I it's mean, fucked. Basically, you're gonna summon something, put it into a doll, give it a weapon, and hide from it. <laughs> you know, I don't understand what good could come of doing that. Wait, what kind of doll and what kind of weapon? Oh, that's your choice. Yeah. He's gonna explain oh. that. Like, oh, okay. You have a lot of choices, but there's there's specific, very specific rules to this game. Um, <laughs> so why don't you, why don't you step them through the the rules? Yes, and this, we're gonna do this for all the games that we come up with. So that way, if you just decide, hey, fuck it, I want to see what like my insides look like. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> the things you'll need: one stuffed doll, and it must have limbs. Um, enough rice to fully fill the doll, after you obviously take out the innards of whatever the this fuck it is. Stuffing. Yeah. Uh, you need one needle and one crimson thread. A has pair to, of nail crimson. clippers. Yes, it has to be crimson red, not, not apple red. Looking at you, Claire's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't shop at Claire's, guys. Uh, one pair of nail clippers. I do get those from Claire's. <laughs> <laughs> one sharp-edged tool, such as a knife, glass shard, or scissors. Glass shard. Yeah, glass shard. Damn. Yeah. Um, a cup of salt water. Natural sar salt would be best. Sart. Yes. Salt. salt. <laughs> you need the sart. You need the sart. <laughs> the only way to survive. Uh, a bathroom with a bathtub and some form of counter. Okay. A hiding place, preferably a room purified by incense. Uh, and there must be a TV in there. It must be a TV. Has to be a TV. Okay. Doesn't say what type of TV, so that's that's good. All right. All right. Now moving on to the preparation stuff. Um, that's that's everything you need for this game. Apparently, that's Jesus. a lot of stuff. I did not come up with this. So yeah, this is all from the in, the inter, the interwebs. all knowing interwebs. <laughs> yes, yes. So you can cross reference all your stuff from like I don't know. Probably go to Reddit. No, I'm serious. Like Reddit's the, like really fucked up. That or four chan. <clears throat> Most likely Reddit. There's a there's a fucking subreddit for everything. Oh, yes. Yeah, pretty much. Um, take, take out the doll, what, whatever the doll's stuffed with, and restuff it with the rice. That is step one. Uh, clip off a few pieces of your nails, and then you got to put them inside the doll. Hmm. You All gotta right. put a little piece of you with the doll. <laughs> now, do they have to be specifically clipped, or can they be picked off? Hmm. Good question. Now, we'll pick, practice this I'm, later. I'm a picker. See, I am too, so, hey. however, yeah, right, right. How about <laughs> so this? I don't have fake nails. How about this? How about we play the game at some point, we each do a doll in the same house, um, or in, in, the, in the same apartment <laughs> complex, No, let's say. no, because you've got to be completely alone. Yeah, you know, in, in that, like, okay, this is your apartment, so, like, what if, what if, like, you get a complex. Part? Yeah. Yeah, what if we had a complex? Okay, a yeah, if it was, complex. like, a completely different apartment, then, yeah. Yeah. I would still say absolutely not. And then whoever <laughs> dies, we just gotta know how they, you know, what gotta cut that doll die? open. But then I guess you're finding the murderer. Right? Is I that? Is, hmm. I don't know. I don't know what would happen. Anyway, let's, let's go through the preparation of this game. Yeah, uh, continue on with the preparation. Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, clip off a few pieces of your nails and put them inside the doll. Sew up the opening with the crimson thread. Has to be crimson. It has remember. to be crimson, not apple, motherfucker. Uh, when you finish sewing, uh, tie up the doll with the rest of the thread. Uh, go to the bathroom and fill your bathtub with water. Return to your hiding place and put the cup of wa salt water 
on the ground. Remember, it has to be salt water, or otherwise you die. Um, that doesn't say that in here. I'm just suggesting, or not suggesting, but uh, suspecting that you will die. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, now it moves on how to actually do this. Uh, give your, give a name to your doll so you can know who your fucking killer is. Uh, the name could be any but your own. So what? you could make it Bartholomew? <laughs> what if you did name it? Like, if I named mine Pat, can you imagine if that little thing was just like, Pat? I'd be like, oh, fuck, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, like, how, start... how do you get out? Are you just dead? Well, let, let's explain what happens in this game. Sorry. Right. They don't know yet. All right, uh, so uh, give the name to your doll. A name could be anything but your own. When the time is 3 a.m., say the name of your doll. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Okay, uh, so, so it's like say your name and then is the first it. So like Pat is the first it or whoever to the doll three times. Go to the bathroom and put the doll into, into the water-filled tub. Turn off all the lights in your house, go back to the hiding place, and switch on the TV. After counting to ten with your eyes closed, return to the bathroom with the edge tool in your hand. Go to the bathtub and say to the doll, I have found you, and uh, the doll's name. Stab the doll with the edge tool. Say, you, you are the next it, and then the doll, doll's name. As you take the doll out of the bathtub and leave it on the counter in the bathroom. As soon as you have put down the doll, run back to the hiding place and hide. And then how do you finish? Um, pour half of the cup of salt water in your mouth. Do not drink it, just keep it there. Uh, get out of your hiding place and start looking for the doll. The doll is not necessarily in the bathroom or wherever it happens to be, uh, but do not spit out the fucking water. When you find the doll, pour the rest of the salt water in the cup over it. Then spit out the water from your mouth onto it as well and say, I win three times. This is supposedly supposed to end the ritual. Um, Jeez. Yeah, after this, apparently, make sure that you dry the doll and burn it and just get the get get rid of it. Get rid of it. Um, and whatever you don't do, do not stop <laughs> halfway through because bad things happen, apparently. Um, so, uh, wow. That's... There's also a couple other things. That, uh, these are like notes apparently somebody put up. Notes uh, about the game. Well, other things to keep in mind and notes, actually. Okay, let's hear uh, this. Alright, uh, do not leave your house until you have done the finishing ritual. Uh, you By must burning it? I'm guessing so. I am guessing so. So wait, you have to burn it in your house? What if you don't have a fireplace? Just throw it in the oven? I, I guess. I feel like that's like... It's gonna make your oven stink. Yeah, it might like burn your house down. It yeah, just possesses right? your oven. It always cooks everything wrong. What about if you got like a fire pit? If you got a fire pit, then you're golden. Oh yeah. yeah, then you're fine. But I, would, I guess, don't leave your property. But no, it says do not leave your house. So, yeah, you really? Burn yeah, it do not leave your house side. until you have uh, finished doing the ritual. Uh, you must turn off every single light in your house when told to do so. You must keep quiet while hiding. Uh, you do not need to put the salt water in your mouth during the beginning. You only need to do it uh, for the finishing ritual. And that's says, remember, if you are living with someone, you might put them in danger too. Keep the ritual game under two hours, or else the spirit spirit will be too strong to fucking remove. Oh, comforting. So you okay? So this legitimately is some kind of like summoning ritual. You're possessing some kind of fucking doll. Why are you giving it a weapon? I mean, you're not well, necessarily giving it to it. You're stabbing it with it. But you have to leave it. Again. You have to leave it with it. Though. Right. But you, it keeps saying you have to go back to your same hiding spot. So you're just repeating the whole thing all over again. So is it technically hide and seek? Or let me summon this and see if it kills me. Well, essentially, like, you, you, you do your whole ritual of summon it. You leave it there with whatever you have. And then you have to run and hide. In order to stop it, you have to go and find the doll if it's not in the original spot. So if it's not in the original spot you left it, you know someone or something is in your house. Or in the doll. <laughs> Either way, people are there that weren't there originally, and that's fucking terrifying. Yeah. Yeah, could you imagine just hearing like... Absolutely not. Daddies. <laughs> Daddies. I want to eat your skin. <laughs> skin. <laughs> you know, like, that's terrifying. So, uh, why would you want to play this game? Maybe it's not a matter of wanting to, but just have... You have to. 
You have to. Yeah, for, the, like, for those yeah. hardcore people out there who's like, oh, I'm not afraid of anything. Do this and send us the video. Do it. God. Do it. Oh, God. Uh, but, um, blah, blah, blah. we don't contone anyone possessing things. <laughs> if you learn how to possess something, like remove your soul and put it into something else and do it, I want the step by step guide. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Why would you want that? Because I would scare the shit out of everybody. You would use it, you would use it to be a troll? I would use it to be a troll as well as making, like, just horror movies so much better. Fucking better. I would. You would oh, never have. Okay. Those are real practical effects. You wouldn't have to have CGI to that, lift anything up. Hey, that's, that's actually awesome. Yep. All it's right. Like, ah. <laughs> it's like, oh, the director passed out, but then the book flew into the wall, and now he's awake again. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. Let's just not ask questions. But uh, the other, the last remaining things for this game is, uh, for safety reasons, it might be best to. Keep all the doors in the house unlocked, including your front door. That's stupid. As well, <laughs> have friends close by so that they can come and help you at a moment's notice if you ever need them. Keeping a mobile... Oh, yeah, the, this person must be British. Uh, keeping a mobile close at hand would be a good idea, too. That totally threw me off, because I, I, I was like, a car? And I was like, well, yeah, my car's out front, but... Uh, notes. The rice represents innards and also has the role of attracting spirits. This is actually true in, um, like, Asia and stuff. Uh, apparently that's, like, a, a way to, like, get them to come to you. It's, like, luring. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the crimson thread represents a blood vessel that seals the spirits inside the doll. By cutting the thread off, you break the seal and release the spirit for that is trapped in. Uh, if you ha if you go out of your hiding place without salt water, you may encounter something wandering around, in quotations, uh, in your house, which may harm you in some way. Huh. Yeah, so, in other words, there might be a demon walking around that might stab you. Mm -hmm. That That's what that said right there. They also say, like, watch what happens to the TV. There's that. There's a video up on YouTube, which is apparently, like, one of the best videos kind of uh, um, upholding this game, I guess, or ritual, is, I think it came out of Japan... This dude did the ritual, and he's hiding in in his little hiding spot with a TV, and you hear it go from like a, a, like a typical news broadcast, like today and what, da, 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 and it goes from like this normal sounding voice to oh my god, and it comes back, and it's it just sounds Talk weird. That I mean, it's if it's fake, it's fake, but if that's real, ugh. yeah. Oh, you scare it. <laughs> that was my phone. That is a fucked up game. That is a fucked up game. Um, what I have like a list of things right here that we can totally go through. Uh, there's just so fucking many. Pick one. I don't want. The, these are all the different games that you could play. Yeah. Let's see this list. Why don't we learn uh, Devil Face? Devil Face. I want to learn what Devil, Devil Face. Face is. <laughs> that looks fun. It looks like dude's face is on fire. Yeah, just a bit. All right, so things you'll need. 12 black candles and something to light the candles. Before midnight, obviously, lock yourself in the bathroom and turn off the lights. Next, stand in front of the mirror and, the light, and light the 12 black candles. Finally, close your eyes and keep them closed until the clock strikes midnight. Open your eyes and you will see the face of the fucking devil in the mirror. Blah, blah, blah. Warning, <laughs> do not play with... Uh, more than one person. It needs to be one person and one person only because the acid only takes effect when the one person ingests it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, two, two people. Could, we won't go into that. We're going to hold our tongues together and hold the dab right there. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to see Satan... Uh, maybe say I'm like, oh, howdy doody. I'm not gonna lie, that one's kind of lame. I feel like that's oh, more of a stu trick of the eye. Oh, it, well, I mean, you've lit twelve candles in a room. It's gonna hit angles and exactly. Your eyes cast. are closed, so once you open it, that's the first thing you're gonna see is your face lit by candles. Right. I'm not gonna lie, right. this, it looks exactly like that, but it looks like the dude put a little bit of gas like on his beard and facial yeah. area, and he's just like, ha ha. <laughs> now he's dead. He's the devil. All right, let's let's look up a different one. That one's kind of like a childish one. Yeah. It's How about the closet game? 
The classic game. This is a game that um, you should pretty much don't, don't suggest doing because the whole premise of the game is to summon a demon. Aren't all of these like that? Like, you just want to see some something that's most likely going to kill you? Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> all you need for the game is a bedroom with a closet, a book of matches, and a, and the cover of Nightfall. Way to be dramatic, whoever wrote this. Yeah. The cover of Nightfall. No. We're, we're reading things from online about these creepy rituals. <laughs> <laughs> because our local library doesn't have anything on summoning a fucking dibbuk. And now I'm not allowed to go there for asking. <laughs> you may also do this ritual with a partner if you choose. Choose wisely. Choose very wisely if you're going to summon a demon. Always remember. <laughs> I found this dude under a bridge. He wants to summon something with me. I'm going to go in the dark closet. Don't bother us. Yeah, just leave us alone for a while. Whatever you hear, leave me alone. So, make sure you have all the lights in the room turned off and cover the windows, if there are any, so no light can enter the room. Enter the closet and stand toward the door with the matches in hand. To start, hold one of the matches and say, Show me the light or leave me in darkness. Listen for a moment, and if you begin to hear whispering, light the match. The match may also light on its own. Be sure to light the match quickly and not to turn around or you may be trapped by the demon. Keep the match lit and slowly exit the closet. Do not look inside. Shut the door while the match is still lit and to end the game. What the fuck is the point of that? That is literally to summon a demon and just walk away from it. Haha, <laughs> you're out of hell, now you're trapped in my closet. What do I do? Yeah, right? <laughs> What's the next step? Like, that's like something a really evil These parent does to their reckless. kid. That is a really pointless, reckless game. Did you hear me? What? That sounds like something like an evil parent would do, their, do to their kid. It's like, the boogeyman's real, you know? We played this game in your room. Right? Oh! <laughs> it's like, ugh! Oh, it's the worst kind of troll. What if they actually did it? And they're just like, no, it's seriously. Like, why do you think you wake up with scratches and bruises on you? <gasps> oh. oh, dark. Come back to that little kid. <laughs> Demon, dude. <laughs> Somebody played the closet game in that little boy's bed. Here, why don't you pick a good one? Me? Yeah. Somebody else. Here you go. Which one do you want to hear, Lindsay? Let's see. Let's go with Queen of Spades. The Queen of Spades. How to summon the Queen of Spades? Oh, it's someone you summon. Most of these are. Why are you Why are you surprised? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> You're like, yeah, why am I? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. That is an excellent question, sir. Excellent. Hmm, spot on. Pinky out. Pinky out. When in doubt, pinky out. Okay, so to conjure the Lady Spades, uh, three men and two women are required. We only need All one right. other person. So is this the first group one that we've come across so far? Yeah, um, yeah pretty much. I, I mean, the last one you well, could do with two people. Oh, that's right, that's right. The pointless one, if you you like, you want to share a moment in a closet with a demon. <laughs> Sounds like a good Tuesday night. You, you know? kissed me on my cheek. <laughs> it's weird. Now I have been having night terrors. All right, so, okay. Three, three dudes and two chicks. Mm-hmm. Okay. The room must be dark with a mirror, candles, and a deck of cards. The group needs to choose one who will say the words, Lady Spades appear, while holding the Queen of Spades, in front of a mirror. The chosen one has to... <laughs> the chosen one. The, cho the, <laughs> the chosen, chosen one. one. Has to have dark hair and dark eyes. The others need to have a Joker card in hand, but not, but should not look at it. Wait, everyone needs a Joker card? So you need like one person is holding the queen, the other four are holding a Joker, but they can't look at the Joker. We need two decks of cards soon. then. What, what? Why do we need two decks of cards? You don't get four only Jokers. Get two in each deck. Yeah, you only get oh. two Jokers. So hopefully oh, it doesn't matter if you're from the same deck. No, it says Joker. It's not going to oh. work. Uh, okay, well. Anyway, okay, so let's say they just, I don't know, they just had them. After the Chosen One says the words, what is supposed to happen is a ghostly image of a disfigured woman would appear in the mirror. Her bone-chilling smile should strike fear in the Chosen One. What if it doesn't? What if they're like, dude, that's fucking hot. <laughs> right? Dude, metal. Dude, I'd fuck that eye socket. That is always a possibility. You never know. I mean, there's a lot of weird people out there. Um, I mean, I just said some weird shit. But yeah, you know, I'm not serious You went straight for the eye socket. Well, you, I, 
Okay. I mean, mm. that's a hole's a hole. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. That's the first hole I saw. <laughs> <laughs> that's mine. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Little scared sitting next to you. Oh, apparently uh, somebody actually played it. Um, a guy named Tim from LiveSciFi.tv played the Queen of Spades live on LiveSciFi.tv and got numerous EVPs from what sounded like a malevolent spirit. Huh. So, like, what's the point of this game? Again, you just... Just a seer, I guess. So it's kind of like a Bloody Mary type thing? Yeah, but Bloody Mary's supposed to kill you. Oh, well, that's true. She appears from behind you that. and like kills you. Yeah, there is that. I forgot about the little. Detail. Literally, that's that's <laughs> it. Oh yeah, that part. <laughs> I actually never <laughs> heard that part. <laughs> really? I just thought you just summoned some fucking creepy bitch in a mirror. Like, oh, that's creepy. No, she doesn't See, let you like, walk away from that. That was like the, so the, the legend we heard when we were like kids. You know what I mean? Like you just yeah. say her name and she appears. Yeah. But then like as we got older, I don't know, she just started killing. <laughs> Legend. She just yeah. snapped one day. She did. Yeah. She's like, like, you know what? Fuck these kids. I'm not showing up for these kids for nothing. <laughs> what if it's like the Biggie Smalls uh, thing in South Biggie Park? Biggie Smalls. Biggie Smalls. Biggie Smalls. <laughs> what, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, dude, Sharon, no way. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she just got fucking tired and it's just like, yeah, I'm going to start killing kids. All right, then. Yeah, I, could, I don't know. So, that game was... Uh, Interesting. All right, Dennis, you pick one. Hosting game. The, the hosting, hosting game. game. Come on down to the hosting game. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. I, I did it in a host voice. You went there. Yeah, because I am an excellent host. So basically, you're going to be hosting a party for ghosts. All right, that sounds like a... Uh, that sounds like a fine dinner party. <laughs> right, before your party can uh, can be held, you'll need to write out the invitations. You need a piece of paper and a pen, then write out your... You are invited to a gathering hosted by your name. Um, yeah. <laughs> it takes place at your current time. Um, bring your friends, then place the paper in the middle of the floor of the hosting room. You also want to make sure you have all the lights in the house turned off except the ones in the host room as well as having as well as having fuckers a clock and three matches. So you need a clock and three matches. Does when, it matter what kind of clock? Apparently not. Okay. When you exit the hosting room, go around your house to all the rooms saying, "I'll be ready soon." Once this is complete, return to the hosting room and stand in the doorway saying, I'm ready, you may come in. Then switch off the light and shut the door. Stand with your back to the hosting room and grab your three matches. Strike your match as if the lights... And if it lights, say, I am glad to see you. Thank you for coming. Huh. If it doesn't, try once more. If it lights the second time, it's an evil spirit. But still say the same thing. What the oh. fuck? <laughs> so. Hold <clears throat> on, oh, it continues. If it doesn't light after the second strike, proceed to the next match and do the same process until you're finished. This is where the game really starts. The whole premise is to walk around the rest of the house aside from your hosting room and not look back. Once an hour is up, or if you feel a terrible presence, return to the hosting room and say, Thank you for coming, goodbye! Walk to the nearest light source and turn it on. At this point, the ritual is over and your guests will be gone. That sounds like fun. That, that I want to do. That that does sound. I won't. I would not partake, but that does sound interesting. Oh man, uh, we need a GoPro. Yeah. We need a GoPro. I'll yeah. do it. We could play this game tonight. I do it here. How about do it at my house? My house is already fucked. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna bring something in just because you turn the lights on, it goes away. Uh, well, you, uh, you, you say whatever that was. I was like, okay, you guys can fuck off now. And then you turn off the turn on the lights. It's like see you later. Like darkness or something. Well, uh, I mean, I guess if I did, if we did play this game tonight, and I did happen to, like, we did happen to bring something here. You know what we could do? Hmm. 
We could just go to Nancy. Yeah, we could. We could totally do that. We should do that. Let's do it. We have a way. We have a way to get out of this. We have a way to get out of this, and now you can do it too. Yes. Are you moving into a new home or remodeling a home or office? Are you trying to sell a home but can't seem to find the right people to buy it? Does the energy in certain parts of the home or office feel uncomfortable, spooky, stuck, or blocked? Do you feel your own personal growth, healing, and evolution has stymied? Has there been sudden pain or illness you can't explain? Has there been any deaths? Is anyone having trouble sleeping, restless children in bed or night terrors? Is there a lot of fighting and bad experiences with the home or office? Do you ever see moving shadows, flying objects, hear voices or smell weird odors? Do your appliances or machines break down or have mechanical issues often? Do you seem to be having a string of bad luck? If you've answered yes to any of the following questions, please consider getting a clearing by us. Please contact Reverend Nancy for a quote at 630-340-0877 or her partner Amanda at 719-271-7309. Well, that was lovely. Was it? Uh-huh. What? Huh? Get your finger out of there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Fucking licking my bagel. Uh, it just looked tantalizing. Get your fucking tongue out of there. All right, so we've all picked a bunch of games. You need to pick one, you lazy turd. Fuck you. I, wrote all <laughs> or, I didn't write all these. I found all these. You found them and found copied them. them. <laughs> I, I, I took them from the internet so that way we knew what the fucking rules were. They're, it's all the same. Uh, what do you think is a good one? Um, this one's interesting. Kind of stupid, but interesting. What, that's, what is this? Elevator to another world. Is this the elevator game? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I've seen a couple... I've seen a couple videos of this. It's interesting. All right, so enter the elevator from the first floor by yourself. If anyone else uh, gets, gets on, then understand that you cannot continue from the first floor and wait until the elevator can be taken along. Two, press the button for the fourth floor. Three... Do not get out when the elevator reaches the fourth floor. Stay in the elevator and press the button for the second floor. Okay. Four. Do not get out when you reach the second floor. Stay on the elevator and press the button for the sixth floor. Five. Do not get out when you reach the sixth floor. Remain on the elevator and press the button for the second floor. It's like you're entering a code. Yeah, right? Six. Do not get out when you reach the second floor. Stay in the elevator press the button for the tenth floor. Some have reported to hearing a voice calling to them on the second floor during the middle section of the ritual. Do not reply. Do not answer in any way. So, so far, you need to have a ten-story building. That makes me think that, like, the elevator is just going to drop if you reply to it. Yeah. That's terrifying. That is bad. Okay. I don't like elevators to begin with. Yeah. Seven. Do not get out once you have, once you've reached the tenth floor. Stay on and press the button for the fifth floor. Eight. It has been reported by some that a woman may enter the el the elevator on the fifth, or, or uh, yeah, on floor five. I don't know why they wrote that like floor five, not the fifth floor. Yeah. Uh, she may appear as a stranger who wishes to engage with you. More importantly, she may appear as someone you know. It is important that you do not acknowledge her in the word in in word or glance. If the elevator you are in is reflective, then stare at the floor or the buttons only. Oh God. Okay, that's. It is so, chills. Yep. Nine. Now press the button to head to the first floor. If instead of uh, going towards the first floor, you instead begin to ascend to the tenth, then you have performed the ritual correctly. However, and this is very important, if you instead do descend to the first floor, then you have done something wrong. Get off on the first floor immediately. If the woman is on the elevator, then remember not to acknowledge her. Uh, I got yes. chills on that word that just ran down yeah, my back. That That's creepy. Yeah. Um, ten. If you reach the tenth floor, you can either stay on the elevator or, ex or exit the elevator. Some have reported that upon attempting to leave the elevator, the woman will try one last time to engage with you. She may raise her voice and ask where you are going or what's wrong. She may shriek as you cross the door's threshold. Keep your wits about you and do not engage or look at her even out of fear. Eleven. There is only one way to know whether you have traveled to the other world for sure. You will know because you will be the only person there. 
traveling back to your home world now. Alternatively, well, so, so <clears throat> if you get off on the tenth floor, you're in another world. Apparently. Okay. It's like it reminds me of like tra- like uncovering like a secret level in a video game. Yeah. You know, like yeah, that yeah. kind of like. It's like Konami whole, code, man. You gotta, yeah. yeah, you gotta go to all this different coded, like you were saying, it's like a coded mm-hmm. message. Mm-hmm. Maybe because you're in a different, like, place and you can only, you only see anything because, you, I mean, like, you don't see anything because we're third dimensional beings. And if that's the fourth dimension, we wouldn't see it anyway because we can't perceive it. Very true. true. Um, anyway, sorry, I don't want to get in that topic just yet. Uh, all right, so al- alternatively, if you do not exit on the 10th floor, one, press the button for the first floor and keep pressing in it until the elevator begins to move. Two, once you have reached the first floor, exit immediately. Do not exit on any other floors but the first. Do not acknowledge the woman if she is on the elevator. If anyone else gets on, then do not speak to them either. Remain silent. If you do exit the elevator on the 10th floor, the elevator you use to get there is the only one you can use to return. Remember that. Two, when you get back on the elevator, press the buttons in the same order you did in steps two through eight, which you use to travel. This should take you to the fifth floor. Three, once you've reached the fifth floor, press the button on the first floor. Do not be surprised when you instead begin to ascend again to the tenth floor. Do not panic. This can, uh, you can press the button of any floor lower than 10 to stop ascending, but you have to do it before you again reach the tenth floor. Some have described feeling called not to cancel the elevator's ascension. You must. All right, so apparently it, it'll like will you not to press it. God. So it's like luring you. Four, once you have canceled the ascension and reached the first floor, make sure that everything seems normal to you. If anything seems remotely strange, or if you hear anything you should not be hearing, if you smell something you don't recognize, then do not exit that elevator. You have to repeat the step until everything on the first floor seems normal. This is very important. <laughs> Five. Once you are satisfied that everything is on the uh, everything on the first floor is as it should be in your in your world, then you can exit the elevator. Uh, additional information on traveling. <laughs> the other that's, w- that's a lot to take in. That's a that's fucking weird. It's cool though. That's creepy. I would never play this one. Uh, the other world has been described by travelers as dark, but otherwise exactly like our quote unquote home world. Again, you will know that it is not your world because no one else will be there. You may see a distant red cross through through a window. This may be a cross or it may be something else. Ooh, ominous. Uh, Yeah. Electronics often do not work, but some have posted videos claimed to have been taken while traveling to the other world. If you guys come across anything, like, interesting, post that down in the comments or, like, on our page or something. I want to see what you guys come across. Yeah. Uh, you also may be disoriented if you exit on the tenth floor. You may feel dizzy. Be uh, vigilant. Uh, be vigilant. Pay attention to how you are feeling and keep your wits about you. If you pass out, you may wake up at home. But understand, it may not be your home. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> it also may not be the other world you intended to travel to by invoking this ritual. Examine everything around you to make sure it, it everything is as it should be. If you get on the wrong elevator on your return trip, then do not enter the return sequence. It will not work. Regarding the woman, do not speak to her. Do not look at her. Do not check to see if she is still there. She is. Oh, man. Yeah, that's, that's all the information on that. Oh, fuck that. The wow. elevator game? The elevator game. That's interesting. I want to look up some videos about that after we're done here. It reminds me of like the those horror movies where like obviously people are in the elevator and you know like somebody appears up behind them or like the pranks that people pull. They're just like, oh, I'm gonna scare this old lady, and they, they like come out of a panel and they just stand there. <laughs> yeah. like it looks like the girl from The Ring. Oh God. But then isn't that basically you're back in your world, and now she's gonna always be in the elevator because you're not allowed to ever look back. That's gonna make, that would like make me never want to get into an elevator again and if I had to I would never look behind me. Or I would, I would, I would, I would do this. I would back up against the wall uh-huh. so that way there is no behind me. Like, ah, yep. oh, bitches! Yep, exactly. But that, that's when you feel something grab your shoulder. Oh. Yeah. But I, like, what if 
at any point in time you go to walk in you see someone because it does say it may be someone familiar right so, I mean, just just back, backing in wouldn't work either because be after like, this point in time anytime you interact with anyone you know in an elevator you're still technically playing because it doesn't give you a way to actually end it you just get off what in if, your world and she's there and but you but have yeah you have they're to, stuck in the elevator so it's just in the elevator so if you like notice that everything's okay on the outside mm -hmm. just like handcuff yourself to somebody you're like oh, we're gonna go for the elevator ride and we can take the escalator we can take the stairs we don't have to use the handcuffs but <laughs> the elevator ride <laughs> don't think you're fucking nuts but he's like no I had this weird experience once <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust anybody anymore there's a crazy <laughs> lady I went to another dimension well I did find an interesting looking video I want to watch it in a minute oh huh yes all right, so yeah, we just looked up a video really quick uh, in the middle of this, but it, it seemed like nothing actually happened from it. Uh, not to say that it doesn't necessarily work, I guess, but uh, what we came across is that it didn't. But I'd if try you, this one. If you if you uh, have any footage that apparently looks, you know, good and it it and that kind of you know upholds this theory, then let us know because I want to see that shit. I want to know what this other world looks like. All right. Let's see if that's the fourth dimension or something. Something out of a Ridley Scott movie. All right, so I guess I'll pick one now. Uh, we get to this one. <laughs> it's a it's a classic. All right, what, what's a classic. a classic game? Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Ooh, oh, we used to play that all the time as kids. You know that was actually. You know where Pat found this at? You'd never guess. Remember when you were looking this up? You were with me. Where did you? They had this posted. In Cosmopolitan magazine. Oh yeah, really? Yeah. yeah, I wanted I wanted to see if there was anything else that I knew about Light as a Feather because I already knew about it. But yeah. I just wanted to see if there was anything else that I might have missed. And like one of the links was Cosmo, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? That's crazy. Is that where you originally learned it from? Don't lie. I was doing my nails. I was like, ooh, spooky <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Light as a Feather, stiff as a board. So uh, people, uh, someone lays down while your group of friends essentially put their hands underneath you. And the theory is that you pretty much channel your energy underneath them to lift them up. And while you're all simultaneously in sync chanting, light as a feather, stiff as a board. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. And as you slowly start raising up, and like it's supposed to make that person light as a feather and as stiff as a board. And you can raise them all the way up, and you have to simultaneously, like a after you're done, all slowly go back down. Otherwise, you'll drop them. <laughs> Just like in The Craft. <laughs> I like that movie. That, movie. that was a fun movie. It's a good movie. Oh, that's a good movie. Uh, this is a stupid internet challenge. What? Running the Gauntlet? Running the Gauntlet. It's a series of videos that you watch, and they're so supposedly more intense and grotesque and vile, and just they just get worse and worse and worse. And you have to make it from beginning to end. Well, then. Interesting. Hmm. What kind of videos? You're talking like Rotten.com style? I am, that is what I'm oh guessing. Oh god. Oh. That is what I'm I guessing. about that. Yeah, oh. Rotten.com was a very vile place, which, if you were hearing this and you have not been there, you are, you are still innocent. Oh, well then I guess I'm innocent. Oh my god. Yes, do, do not go to Rotten.com. Do it, do it. it, it go to Rotten.com. Go to Rotten.com. It is fucked up. Do it. But seriously, do not go to Rotten.com. It is so fucking vile. Tim masturbates to this stuff, so it's okay. <laughs> Don't tell them that. Why? I, mm. Jeez. All right, do the hooded man. The hooded? Oh. Because this, this one is so fucking stupid. If you want to get kidnapped, do this. Yeah, this one, I admit, I, we're watching videos of this, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, why would you do this? This oh is like God. offering yourself. Like, all right. Like, seriously, it sounds stupid right now, but just hear me out. How to perform the hooded man ritual. All right, so your requirements. You need an old-fashioned rotary phone or a modern touch-tone corded phone. Two black cords or ropes measuring half a meter in length each. Matches or a lighter, a watch, and a sage smudging stick. And how to perform it? Um, yes, teach us. You're supposed to perform a cleansing beforehand. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Um, it's just best to. Uh, like, if this is real and you actually do summon something. But, um... Cleansing ritual tips or steps: Open all the windows and uh, and gates. Burn a sage smudge, smudge stick and move with it so that way the smoke enters all the rooms. When the s smoke is extinguished, flush it in the toilet. And, uh, blah 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 blah. 
Now, steps to perform the Hooded Man ritual. Begin at night. Shut all the doors, all the windows, draw all the curtains, turn off all the lights, as well as all electronic devices. Two, you must not carry anything except a watch. Carrying anything of power or protection is prohibited in this game. So you can't even record this? You can't even wear a cross. No shit. No. Three, count to the number 13 and sit down before the telephone. Then dial the following numbers. Two, zero, four, nine, six, eight, eight, eight. Step four. Now tie one black cord to the telephone's handset and then again dial the following number. Two, five, five, one, five, eight, two, three. Step five. Again count to 13 and speak the following words into the receiver. Hello? I need a cab. Six. Now replace the first black cord from the handset with the second one and burn the first cord immediately before completing the ritual. 7. Look outside from your window. You will see a, bl a black taxi cab parked out in front of your home. 8. Exit the building, but don't forget to lock the door behind you and sit into the back seat of the cab. So you're just going to look outside, see a random car sitting out there. A black cab, Tim. A black cab. It's specific. And you're going to get into the back seat of it. Just get mm -hmm. in the back seat. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Um... Now, inside the cab, step one. Now lock the door, uh, lock the cab door with the key given in the cab. Go to sleep. <laughs> Two. Woke up, um, after some, wake up after some time and check the time via your watch. Step three. If your watch reads any time other than 3.30 a.m., exit the cab. Re-enter your home within two minutes and proceed to end the ritual. Back to step one. Um... Step four, if, you wa if your watch reads 3.30 a.m., go back to sleep. <laughs> Step five, now, when you woke up for the second time, you will find the cab to be driving on a highway of another world with a paranormal man wearing a hood. Do not fear and attempt to get out of the cab while it's moving. Step six, end your ride as soon as possible by leaning close to the hooded man's ear and recite the following words. <laughs> I have reached my destination. Now fall asleep one last time. When you woke up, wake up, you will have returned home. Uh, end the ritual. Step one. When, uh, once you've returned to your home, dial the following number. 200082. And say the following words into the receiver. Thank you for the ride. Step two. Now untie the black cord from the, from the handset and burn it like the first one. Then bury the ashes of both the cords in the ground. Scatter some salt over the top of the burial site. Step three, now again perform the cleansing ritual. So if you want to like... Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to summon some black car and go sleep in it. Yep. Yeah, with someone you don't know who's wearing a hood and he might be a demon. Well, that, that depends. If you stay in the cab until 3.30 a.m. If you wake up at 3.30 a.m. and then go back to sleep, then, then you're going to be driving. What happens if you wait longer than two minutes to get in your home? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. You sneeze and you wake up in the fucking in the cab again, just arriving <laughs> back at your house. And he's like, "All right, you got two minutes to make it from here to your door." <laughs> it's like it's not far. Get the fuck out. And he's just like tired of your shit. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> the fuck are you doing? <laughs> okay, that's a. Uh... Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so uh, this one is kind of fun and kind of creepy as shit. Oh great! But you need a uh, landline phone. And this one's Which, called the telephone has ritual. That? Yeah, Some people say. still do. Some people still do. My parents held off for a while. But then they just got rid of it. Yeah. So for those of you out there who still actually have a landline, you could do this one uh, for those dying breeds out there. Uh, so essentially, you are going to lock yourself in a closet after turning off all the lights while you're alone at home, and you're going to use your cell phone. You're going to call your own house and wait till somebody answers. Fuck that. Right? That's terrifying. Fuck that. That is terrifying. There's no way. That just gave me chills me thinking too. about that. Like, it's so simple, but it's so fucking terrifying. Yeah. What's the point of that? Are there demons here? Hello? Yeah, right? Like... What if it's you on the other line? Like, oh, that's like, even that's more even, fucked that's up. That's even worse. Dude, I smell a story there. Like Sorry. that uncanny valley. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, that would be creepy. Mm -hmm. I would move. 
Yep. Yeah, I just live in a tent. I just fuck it. Play, play, it. play that at your house. I'm wondering, what, I'm wonder what would happen. I don't have a landline. <sighs> Get a landline and play it at your house. <laughs> you yeah, yeah. AT and T. Can I establish? I just, I don't know. I'm gonna get possessed or something. A night. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Vonage. What if you had just like another cell phone? It doesn't work. It's not the telephone ritual, Tim. That's a cell phone ritual. Damn it. You could potentially... Well, no, I guess that wouldn't work. If you worked at like an office or something. You could do it at work. I think this one's fucked up. What's this one? This one's called the concentrate ritual. Okay. So you're gonna... You'll find out how you die. Oh, the point oh. of this game All is right. to find out how you die. Yeah, not to actually kill you like most of the other ones. So it's like a fortune telling type thing. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Shit, I have a feeling like I'm almost about to actually perform it just by like reading it aloud. Because like there's verses and shit. Shit. <laughs> All right, well, I don't want to find out. So if somebody gets my answers, I'm sorry. Uh. All right, the how am I going to die game. So to play concentrate, you only need two people. To begin by telling the person to close their eyes. Then you stand behind them and chant while performing the rituals. During the chorus, you pound lightly on the person's back with your fists while you chant. Uh, during the verses, you perform the actions while you chant. Oh my, this this almost sounds like uh like an old like tribe type thing, like a native thing, you know? And you're using them as the drum. Almost like like channeling through them instead of like using a Ouija board or like yeah. some, using some type of other uh, divination, but using them as like a hosting thing. That's interesting. Um, okay, so apparently there's a poem. This is what you chant. Okay, so I, uh, yeah. So verse one. Uh, tap the person on top of their head with your fist and run your hands down both sides of their head. Crack an egg on your head. <laughs> okay, crack an egg on your head. Let the yolk run down. Let the yolk run down. Crack an egg on your head. Let the yolk run down. Let the yolk run down. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate on what I'm saying. People are dying. Children are crying. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate on what I'm saying. Verse two. Twist your hands on their shoulders and then rub your hands down their arms. Squeeze an orange on your shoulder. Let the juice drip down. Let the Juice drip down, let the juice drip down. Concentrate, concentrate on what I'm saying. People are dying, children are crying. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate on what I'm saying. Verse three. Poke their <laughs> poke them in their sides. I thought I thought it said eyes for a second. I'm like, that's mean. still. poke them in their sides with all, with all of your fingers, then rub your uh, run your hands down their sides. Stick ten needles in your sides. Let the drip, blood drip down. Let the blood drip down. Stick ten needles in your sides. Let the blood drip down. Let the blood drip down. Concentrate, concentrate on what I'm saying. People are dying. Children are crying. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate on what I'm saying. Verse four. Fucking a. There's so many verses. There's a lot. Tap them on the back with your fist. Then rub your hands down their back. Stab a knife in your back. Let the drip. Or let the blood drip down. We let the blood drip down. Did that when we were a kid. Did, what the fuck? Yeah, we that we used to do that kind of shit. Like that line. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know where we got it from. There was like the whole neighborhood kids. We all like used to do that. No shit. Mm-hmm. Huh. Did you ever uh, see how you were gonna die? No, no. I don't think so. Unless I blocked it out. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> well. <laughs> She just starts screaming. <laughs> oh, dude, what did you unlock? <laughs> anyway, back to this. Uh, so stab, stab a knife in your back, let the blood drip down, let the blood drip down. Stab a knife in your back, let the blood drip down, let the blood drip down. Uh, concentrate, concentrate, concentrate on what I'm saying. People are dying, children are crying. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate on what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> verse 5. Mime, rap, mime wrapping a rope around the neck and then pull the imaginary rope. The person's head should move back as if they are actually being hung. Uh, wrap a rope around the neck, wrap it until it's tight. Wrap a rope around your neck and pull! Uh, hold the person by their arms, whisper in their ear. Uh, you're standing on a building, you're out on the ledge, you're feeling very dizzy, and you're close to the edge, and someone pushes you. You push them just enough to make them tip forward to regain their balance. 
You then tell them to open their eyes and ask what color they see. We used to do that, too. Um, so apparently whatever color they see is what will be their death. So uh, what the colors mean. Red means that you will be stabbed. Blue means that you will drown in water. I don't know why it has to be specific with water, but whatever. Uh, yellow means you will be poisoned. Orange means you will burn to death in a fire. Green means you will fall f from a height and die on grass. Uh, purple means you will suffocate. Brown means you will be buried alive. Gray means you will die of disease in a hospital. White means you will die of old age and go to heaven. Black means you will die of old age and go to hell. That is fascinating. Yeah, That's well, a children's game! And we, now that you listed all the colors and everything, I do remember, like, that was part of it. Like, we would push the person and, like, we would see a color. And, you know, looking back and thinking about it, I always saw, like, turquoise. Like, turquoise, aqua, blue... I remember that. something. Yeah, I don't know. So that's fucking crazy. And like, we also used to, you know, we would do the light as a feather, stiff as a board thing, but then, you know, someone would lay down on the grass and like someone would lay at their, like Indian style, like at their head and just rub their temples and they would close their eyes. And we would like, okay, you're in the forest and, you know, it described the environment and stuff like that. And then... You know, okay, you see a, like, what do you see? And, like, it was, like, intense, like, like meditation, you know? And, like, mm. we would, like, do this for, like, half an hour at a time, like, like maybe even longer. And, like, we would, like, I remember, like, seeing shit, you know? Like, there, I would always see, like, a boar for some reason. Like, that was something I always saw when we did it. Like, mm. we were, like... Spirit animal. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. <laughs> like, it was crazy. I, I... Ugh. And we were like, I don't know, 9, 8, 10, 11, you know? Oh, shit. Yeah. We never did that. We just watched South Park. <laughs> that I did not do. <laughs> and we, we grabbed sticks, pretending they were guns, and played Resident Evil in the woods. Damn right. We had, we had <laughs> nice. a mansion to explore. We had a mansion to explore and a tyrant to slay. Yeah, we were in the, in the like uh, the Raccoon City Forest by the Arkley Mountains and such. Yeah. All right, those, I think this is going to be the last one. <laughs> I have one more that I think we should read. We'll save the the remainder on the list for another time. Yes. And if you, I guess if you guys have any other ones, please submit them to us, because yeah. these games are interesting. Yeah. Uh, so send us some games that you think that maybe we should play. Yeah. Yeah, because I kind of want to do the elevator game, I'm not going to lie. You do the elevator, ga elevator game, and I'll do the, um, the party. I'll throw a party for all my dead friends. Can't, can't we all do that if you do the party? Uh, we'll go back through and reread it, but uh, I don't see why not. We all just need matches. All right, what's uh, what's this last game though? All right, this is called Dark Reflection. Dark Reflection. Yeah. Um, you need at least one principal, and a, a group is suggested. The requirements: uh, you need a mirror, it may be of any type or shape, and it's only necessary. Uh, it, it, it needs to be one that you're willing to break, essentially. Uh, you need a candle and a match or a lighter. Instructions. One, begin after sunset, but no less than six hours until dawn. Two, take, take up your mirror um, and look, look your reflection in the eye for three to five seconds, focusing your attention on the negative energy held within the mirror. Then hold the glass up to your face and anoint it with your breath. That is, breathe onto it such so that it fogs up. Uh, three, repeat the step for as many players as there are in the group, with each player performing the setup in its entirety at least once. Four, after all players have successfully anointed the mirror with their breath, light the candle with your match or lighter and hold it to the mirror's surface. Once the candle has blackened a small portion of the glass, or at least a small portion of the glass, uh, remove the candle and extinguish it. Break the mirror, releasing the negative energy. Six, Leave the or five was break the mirror. Six, leave the pieces of the broken mirror while the uh, where they are and evacuate the area immediately. Okay. Bad luck will proceed to follow you throughout the night. Incidents will likely begin small but will grow in severity as the evening wears on. Your survival is dependent on your state of alertness. There are no rules to follow or actions to perform that will guarantee your safety. <laughs> the only piece of advice which may be given are the following. Stay vigilant. Huh? Wow. 
And should you find yourself in a particularly threatening situation, hold your breath for as long as you can. Okay. Should you survive the night unscathed, your luck will perform an abrupt about face with an arrival of the first light of dawn. What? Okay, I'm going to reread that. Should you survive the night unscathed, your luck will perform an abrupt about face with the arrival of the first light of the dawn. So you're... Oh. Your, your, your bad luck will around. end. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I thought I read that word. Um, your bad luck will end and a streak of good luck... Oh, no. Good, good luck fortune will begin. People will be nicer to you, success will come easily, and if you are a gambling type, it is recommended that you buy a lottery ticket. Uh, so there's some additional notes here. Although the only necessary, uh, necessary quality for the mirror to possess is that it be one you are willing to break, other qualities may also be worth considering. For example, how old is the mirror? Uh, both the risk and reward of the ritual depend on how old the mirror is. An, old, an older mirror, which has seen many gazes, will hold more negative energy. Accordingly, accordingly the strength and duration of your good luck during and after uh, the process will be greater. However, the danger the danger that you'll encounter is like a lot fucking worse. Uh, huh. Do you have a personal connection with it? A mirror which has personal connection to you, one one that you've looked into a bunch of times that you might want to use for the ritual, of, like your bathroom or whatever, um, it will tailor to good fortunes and dislikes and desires. There's no specific location in which the ritual is best performed, however, it is not recommended that it is conducted at your place of residence. It is much easier to run from negative energy if you haven't gone and released it within the walls of your own home. Although this ritual may be performed by only one principal, uh, it is best conducted by a group. The reason for this recommendation goes back to the idea that there being strength in numbers. If only one player performs the ritual, the negative energy released during, during the first part of this will have only one person to follow. The, the more players there are, the thinner the negative energy you will have and spread itself as it tracks you down. Makes sense. Okay. That almost reminds me of Final Destination. <laughs> uh, anointing the mirror with your breath in the first part connects the negative energy within the mirror to you, holding your breath in the face of the bad luck following you during the second part will not prevent it from reaching you entirely, but it will buy you a few moments to get you out of the danger situation if needed. Uh, you must begin the ritual during the window of time indicated in the instructions. Uh, beginning too soon, or too close to dawn, will not allow the negative energy to be brought forth from the mirror to fully manifest before the light of the sun purifies it. And more dangerously, beginning during the uh, the day allows the negative energy released by the ritual more time to dog your steps. It is not it's not the light of the day that will purify any of the energy. It is specifically the light of dawn. There's one last note, and it says there is no way. Uh, to stop this ritual once it has begun. Do not, uh, do not begin unless you plan on finishing this. Huh. Well, okay. So you gotta be committed. Yeah, you could die, apparently. But you have really good luck. If you make it through. Yeah. That seems like, uh... Huh. I don't know. It's like at a cough, both your arms and your legs, and they're like, oh, you're still alive, you're in immense pain, but you lived. At least you're going to get, like, robot arms now. You're going to be, like, half cyborg. Better try to get those robot arms the next day when you have good luck. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't... Yeah, don't do it during that bad period. Yeah. They watched the surgery, and now they got more feet. <laughs> <laughs> now I can do awesome cartwheels. Well, that was... That was uh, some interesting... Those were some interesting games. Yeah. But we got we got more here in front of us that we'll eventually get around to. Not to mention the internet's full of dark, damning things that we probably shouldn't be look at, looking at, but that's just because we haven't found them yet. <laughs> so. I'm sure people have found them. I know. We they gotta to... link it to us. Yeah, Send it to us. Send send us all your dark stuff. I want to see it. And your stories and everything you're gonna, else. You're gonna get some things you definitely don't want to get just because you said that. What, some dark things? You told everyone to send you their dark stuff. You're yeah. Gonna get, you're going to get some, like, fucking raunchy, dirty-looking buttholes now. I might. I'll just <laughs> forward them to you. I'm not going to open anything from you anymore. I'm just going to keep making new email addresses. That's the beauty of the internet. Ever-evolving, ever-changing. Remember, not every hole is the same, Tim. Brown star. As always, like, subscribe, follow. 
Yes. Click that bell, stay notified. And send us those buttholes at witcheshillradio at gmail.com. <laughs> or your stories, because we'll actually look at those and other horror art that you might want to send to us. We've got some interesting episodes coming up, so you might want to hit that subscribe button and that bell to stay notified on other things that might be coming up in the YouTube area. Yes. Yes, Tim, yes. <laughs> I, I drank too much energy drinks today. Uh, until next time, I hope I don't have a heart attack. <laughs> well, don't play that bad luck game. I do it, I will. Hey, if we do that birthday thing, you can have a birthday for me if I'm dead. Wait. What? Bye! Oh! Which is hell?